Hey everybody, I'm David with Bolivar Live. Well, we've added some new events to the calendar. We've also added some new live music to the live music calendar, actually through April or May um, when you see this. And so make sure you go to our website, BolivarPeninsulaTexas.com and look at our new live music calendar update because we really got some great uh, musicians playing. In fact, this weekend, uh, depending on when you see this, is Walt Wilkins at Stingery, and I want to see that. So let's look at the events coming up. This weekend, March 2nd, it's Spring Fling Fest 2024, and all the money raised from this goes to St. Jude's. In fact, they're asking you to scan the QR code, make your donation to St. Jude's, either $10 for entry or $20 if you're going to be in the Yeep contest. And um, we can't say the word that I needed to say because I got a cease and desist letter from Jeep and Chrysler because we had the word Yeep up there. And so uh, we've changed it to the Spling Fling Fest 2024. Um, and that's this weekend at Festival Park. 1609 Highway 87 kicks off Saturday morning at noon or Saturday at noon and goes till 8 p.m. Great live music through the whole event. Now also going on this weekend is the Showcase of Homes. <coughs> and this was started uh, last fall. This is the second one. They have a spring and a fall. But 110 Realty Group does this and you can go through and they've got a bunch of homes uh, open with people in them so that you can uh, get questions answered and ask questions, um, whether it's about that home or maybe one of the other homes. Now, it doesn't stop just this weekend. Uh, we've got a lot of events coming up, and the next one, the big one, is Spring Break 2024. And I tell you what, the weather's been great down here. Um, the beach is in immaculate shape. The businesses are set up and ready to go. And so come on down, make your plans now. You can find vacation rentals on our website at BolivarPeninsulaTexas.com. You can also look through it and see the 11 live webcams that we have here on Bolivar so that you can see exactly what to expect when you get here. Uh, we've got the Stingery Bay Cam, about four or five on the beachfront. We've got the, the North Jetty Cam. We've got Fort Travis Cam. And there's some history here. If you have kids and want to go out and explore some of the history, and then there's a lot of beauty here too. Now, in conjunction with Spring Break, we've got a secret phrase giveaway. <coughs> Excuse me. And what we're going to do is in the first live feed of the day, usually at 6 a.m., we're going to give out a secret phrase. And when we give out that secret phrase, the first person to find the Bolivar Live Truck on the beach and give the driver the secret phrase is going to win a hard-sided RTIC cooler. And we're doing this March 11th through the 15th for the main spring break here in Texas. But it's not just the cooler that's going to be given away. The cooler is going to be full of goodies. And so we're going to have hats and t-shirts and frisbees and you never know, there may be some cash in some, there may be some gift certificates for one of the area businesses down here, but we're giving one away a day for all of spring break. And I wanna thank the sponsors that, that made it happen. Without these sponsors, we couldn't do it. And that's Crystal Beach Dump, Dumpster Service, uh, Latitude 29 Surf Shop, Prestige Custom Builders, Crystal Beach Decor and more. Uh, Villas of Bolivar, and that's the new subdivision, and then the big store. Without these businesses, we couldn't have do it, done it, and so I want to thank them, and please shop them while you're here at spring break. Now, spring break goes on through the end of the month for a lot of schools. In fact, we're going to be doing some advertising out of state for some of those schools, and so come on down. The restaurants are wound up and ready to serve you. They've got fresh seafood, hand-cut steaks, salads, pizzas, burgers, Mexican food, you name it, we've got it down here. Now the next event on the calendar is the Sunrise Service. And this used to be on the, <coughs> excuse me, the beachfront. They moved it last year because of the elevated tides and the rain and they chose to keep it at Camp Margaritaville this year. And it's really, for logistical purposes, a great venue 
And as you can see, this is from last year. Had a great turnout. We're looking for a great turnout this year. And this is put on by the Ministerial Alliance here on Bolivar Peninsula. And that's Sunday morning, 7 a.m., March 31st at Camp Margaritaville. Free parking, free entry, come in, enjoy it. It's really a great community event. Now, next is the Eagles Barbecue Cook-Off, Charity Barbecue Cook-Off. And this started out as the Pearl Beach Barbecue Cook-Off, and they hand it over to the Eagles, and they've done a great job of growing it. It's getting bigger and bigger every year. They've got an uh, auction going on during the event. Um, kicks off Friday night, as you can see, and you can get information on any of these events on our website at BolivarPeninsulaTexas.com. Just go to our event page. So. We're going to be out there and remember, Monday after this is when the solar eclipse happens. In fact, I'm going to be at the cook-off for a little bit Saturday morning, and then I'm heading up to my mom's up at the Lake Travis, and we're going to watch the solar eclipse uh, from up around Lake Travis, Bar Burnett, maybe Marble Falls. So I'm sure it's going to be a big event up there. Um, it'll be, I believe, partial here on Bolivar, but it's going to be a full event. And so I'm going to go up and see my mom. Actually, her 91st birthday is the following weekend, so we're going to celebrate a little early. So we've got a new event on the calendar um, that's coming up, and it's the Port Bolivar, or the Watermelon Crawl. Sorry, it's after that. Uh, the Watermelon Crawl, and this is for the Peninsula Sports Park, um, a fundraiser for them, a great event an annual event that happens usually around the 20th of April every year. And so you can dress up your Jeep, your golf cart, have a great time and raise some money for Peninsula Sports Park. And that's the park, the baseball, uh, soccer, everything for the youth. Now the new event coming up is the Port Bolivar Fish and Shrimp Fry. And you know, they typically have in March um, an oyster fry, but due to the price of oysters, it just wasn't feasible um, and they didn't want to have to charge as much as they were going to need to to be able to buy the oysters, cook them, and still raise some money. And this is a major event. So this year they're doing the fish and shrimp fry, April 27th. And it's a the Port Bolivar Volunteer Fire Department. We just got the information on this, but I'm pretty sure they'll start serving around 11 a.m. You'll be able to get plates to go. And I'm pretty sure it's a donation, and we'll have more information on that as we get a little closer. But I wanted to let everyone know, because we had some calls over the last month about the oyster fry, and we didn't know. They were checking to see what they were going to be able to do. And as of yesterday, we got word they're doing the fish and shrimp fry on April 27th. So head on down to Port Bolivar Volunteer Fire Department for a great event. Now, the next event, the granddaddy of them all here, one that everyone looks forward to, and that's the Texas Crab Festival Mother's Day weekend. This has been going on for as long as I've been down here, and I tell you what, you can't beat it. All the money raised from this stays on Bolivar Peninsula, and if you haven't seen the live music lineup, you've got to go see it. Um, you can visit their website at texascrabfestival.org, and we're going to have the music for them up on our website here in the next week or so. And so go ahead, check it out, and you can buy tickets now online uh, and save a little money um, compared to at the gate. But it's like $10 or $15, but the music is unbelievable. And so they've got vendors, they've got uh, washer, tar all kinds of stuff going on down there, and stuff for the kids too. And so make sure you're here Mother's Day weekend, whether you rent a house, use your house, or come in for the day, you're going to want to be at Texas Crab Festival Mother's Day weekend, April, or May 10th through the 12th here in Crystal Beach, Texas. Now the next event is also a new event, and, or not a new event, but newly added to the calendar, and that's the Port Bolivar Barbecue Cook-Off. And this is a yearly event, happens every year. They've moved it though from August because it was so hot back to June. And so this is June 7th. They'll have something Friday night, uh, people checking in and they have a few turn-ins, I believe. And then Saturday is when you can get that barbecue dinner that they're known for. And I tell you what, they pile it high and it's mouth-watering. So there's the events for uh, 2024, the spring of 2024 into the summer. Uh, usually in the summer, we really don't have that many events down here, but we're starting already to work on the fall events 
um, and what's going to happen this fall. And so we'll be updating uh, yeah, on those so you can go ahead and make uh, plans now. But the beach is in great shape. Come on down. Enjoy 2024. Maybe your summer vacation. Maybe a weekend getaway here on the upper Texas coast, Bolivar Peninsula. And remember, you can see it live anytime and take that beach vacation through at work by going to our webcams at BolivarPeninsulaTexas.com. You can also check out our event calendar, our live music calendar, find a vacation rental, get a little Texas history, learn a lot about the businesses and more all in one location. And you can see Bolivar Live anytime at BolivarLiveTV.com or on Roku, Amazon Fire. Just check out Bolivar Live TV. It's a free download on the apps or you can see it here on our social media channels. Until next time, I'm David with Bolivar Live. Y'all have a great day, great week. Come see us. God bless and bye-bye.